The healing of what, ma'am? Glorious fine Sarah. Meet the game, cause the boys are here. The boys to entertain you. The music and laughter to help you on the way. The raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey. Songs and sketches and jokes and old and new. If that's about, you won't feel blue. So meet the game, cause the boys are here. The boys to entertain you, boys. The boys to entertain you. Keep your eyes open. Like a touch. Can you see sign? Let's supply truck. Give, give us a stand too. There are too many, they may, may need covering fire. Aye, Sergeant Major. Firing that damn mortar's opened it up again. Can't stand this much longer. Bombardier, come here. Move yourself. Now pull yourself together and do not get hysterical. I can't help it. I hate bang. I just hate bangs. Even when I was a kid, I couldn't even pull Christmas crackers. I've got GHQ coming through now, sir. Hello, Sunray. Colonel Reynolds here. We're on artillery, concert party. We haven't, we haven't had any food supplies. We haven't had any food supplies for, for a week. Things are getting a bit short. Sorry, we can't get through. Single insulated selection of Japs. I keep in the road under construction, constant, constant mortar fire. That just isn't good enough. We haven't got anything proper to eat for over a week. We haven't had anything proper to eat for a week. We're not diverting fighter troops to deal with a handful of chaps just because you're pe- being a bit peckish. Have it out. I never knew such kind of behaviour. They just don't care. Why don't we deal with the, them chaps? I only fear them. Are you mad? Mate, we're going to get killed. I can't stand it. Too much of a sense of royalties. Shut up. It's quite understandable. You should re- react in most of ways, Sergeant Major. I wear I'm not for it. I really do. On the other hand, I do think we ought to weigh up a pros and cons very carefully. Don't you, Ashwood? Yes, sir. Very carefully indeed. Let's just look at the whole situation. Just because we're a bit hungry, would you, Sergeant Major, take the risk of any one of our, your traps being harmed? Yes, sir. There's gonna, um, there's a bombardier. Why? There's two, three of them, sir. You just put, you just put it to them, sir. Right, love you, boys. Pay, pay attention and listen to me. Now then, are you hungry? Yes. Are you very hungry? Yes. Think there's something has to be done about it? Yes. Think about it and perhaps need teaching a lesson? Yes. You're coming with me to write them out? No. Lunch is ready, Colonel Sharp. Thank you, Chairwiller. It doesn't look, doesn't look bad. What are you and the others having? That's for everyone, Colonel Sharp. Shall I show it out, sir? I think it actually better. Now then, there's one, two, three, sardines are ten for us. Five get into, into tank, ten to the, goes two. That's half a sandwich each, Sergeant Major. Do you hear that, sir? The boy's done some again already. Very to the sir, soldier bar. Who gets the bones? Officers and things, yo's. Or the charwell and the cook. So let me just shout out. I'm sorry, Sergeant Major. They're entitled to their share, so I'm afraid it's 12 and not 10. It's 12 and not 10. For your information, Mr. D. D. R. D. D. R. Graham, Gunnar Graham, do not, they do not ha- have none, because 5 into 12 do not, do not go steady, Roger, Sergeant Major. We've got, we've got to leave the government now. They make a fuss of all sorts of things, you know. I have it, sir. Why don't we give the natives the bones? Good idea. A very a good old British compromise. I'm giving them the bones. I'm going to give you the bones. You're most kind, Colonel kind of, Sir Hab. Be your man. How are you do, going to divide out the baked beans? Give us ten each and see what is left over. Like ten. Ten. There's another on the plate. Sorry, excuse me, Pingus. Why will you do that? I count out the rice. Thank you, sir. One, two, three, four. So, Ashwood, don't waste them. Those last grain went off the table. I got it, sir. Don't put it back. It's all dusty. Please yourself. Let the bombardier do that. I want to have a word with you. I'm afraid there's nothing else for it. Things are getting very desperate. We have to break into the cocktail snacks. Definitely, surely not, sir. Yes, I'm afraid so. What about it, Metro Cherries? A tin of bottle b- 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 waves. A bottle of them to manage the gherkins. But supposing someone drops in for a drink, we a, ch- a, ch- a chance we have to take. Go and get the cocktail snacks. All right. I, I tell you this, sir. 
The Japanese have got a lot to answer for. This is very bad for business, eh, son? I go out to sell child with no milk, no sugar. I have no cakes. I should go. I am so hungry. You know, in China, where's a small boy? Father taught me ancient Chinese proverbs. Speak Chinese. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't speak ancient Chinese. Hey, there's look. It's Fred. He's no chicken we got. We're gonna do this. We got. What are we gonna do with him? You know, in China, when I was a small boy, father taught me many Chinese proverbs. Speak Chinese, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't speak ancient Chinese. Hey, fellas, look, it's Fred. He's only chicken we left we got. What are we going to do with him? Huh? I think we should make a good, good a soup of him. Go, I'll go further. There's not much meat on the breast. But not, that's not the breast. The breast's underneath. Well, it's always on the top when my father carves it. That's because it's dead. It's lying like the not on the plate. But it's just walking about. It's like that. Who's going to kill it? I can't kill Fred. It's crowded. Crowded and woke us up with a loose wallah. Got into camp and tried to steal our gear. Aye. He's been there as long as we have. Hmm. He hangs on. He keeps. He's all nasty. Chicken we call He's quite good company for chicken. I think they've been emotional and logical. Chop. Its head off and put him in the pot. Now, wait a minute. Let's have a vote on it. Now, who's in favour eating Fred? I am. That's all right. Let him go. There you go, Fred. You saved our lives, our hero son. It is easier for the song in our heart than the ache in our stomach. See here, Babs. I know where there's a palm tree full of ripe coconuts. They're very nutritious. They're totally delicious. Where didn't you tell us before, you buck? Go on and tell the colonel. We'll go and get them first thing in the morning. Keep on your toes. It might be Jap snipers about. Colonel Sebab. They are beautiful coconuts. Yeah, I've all. Look at that, fellas. Eight lovely coconuts. How are we going to get them down, sir? Yes. How are we going to get them down, Ashwood? Well, sir, we could, um, we could, um, a trigger one, sir. I could shoot them down, sir. We can't do that, Sergeant Major. The Japs might hear us. Shut up. I'm not afraid of a handful of fire bitten slot nips. You know, I think Burgundy is brilliant to the point. I mean, Ashwood and I would have loved to have a scrap, wouldn't we, Ashwood? Of course, of course. We haven't actually been authorized by the JHO to fetch the Japs, have we? No, no, no. Apart from which, we might get hotels and holes in, get holes in nuts. Mm, we need to make Take that into consideration. We don't want to make holes in our nuts. Excuse me, sir. In Solomon Islands, the night is just shoot out 60 feet, 50 feet and twist off the coconuts and shin back down again. Don't look at me, sir. I'm a different sort of right now, native. I can't get up the, to the nuts. He could, if we could get, can't get up the nuts, we could bring them to us. We could cut them down a the tree. Do you hear it, sir? Colonel, Colonel Perkins. Then again, we don't have a, haven't got a saw, sir, major. Well, you must admit the principal was right, sir. You're talking absolute rubbish, Sergeant Major. A boy's a brilliant idiot. It might not, you must not discourage him, sir. He might not even make, make enough discretion. So listen, a damn good job too. Why don't we blow it up? We haven't got enough puff. Now I'm talking about explosives. We empty all the powder out of the bottom of my mission, wrap it around the glove, and tie it around the tree like princess. Aye, we can pack it. It ran in the mud, precisely. It caused explosion to go inwards. We need a fuse, like a cowboy films, when it bursts in a bank. Yes. Have you got a fresh fund of fresh sergeant manager? Have you got a fund of fresh sergeant major? Uh, the herd is not a good in my life. They won't believe in idiots, they say. No, I think it's a good idea. They should go do, they should do a trick. Perfect. But I take cover. There's very little danger, sir. There's all that mud on it. A false explosion will go inwards. Well, why not 
you, Sugden. You want you to light the fuse. And the other said, when you take one of those matches, light the fuse and then it starts fizzing. Walk away slowly. Shall I light it then? Now? now? Not now. I'll tell you when. Now it's firing. Let's walk away slowly and calmly. Right, get your hands down. I keep telling you, Sergeant Major, a wall of force explosion in, or mud with force of explosion inwards. It's gradual in many physics. Graham has been to Cambridge. Do you give me credit for some intelligence? Graham, did you ever get your degree, sir? The English literature, sir. The sooner you get back to count the better. Ugh, you're scared of your own soul, you. I can't help it. I get the feeling that the Japanese eyes looking at me from behind every tree, right? Try the knife, try the knife on, Sergeant Major. Stand by to lift. Uh, Sergeant Major, I'll put my foot, uh, I'll put my foot on the end. Perkins, you, uh, put his foot on the end. So it's his own violation, sir. Uh, lift, nanny. Now lift, steady. Now steady, don't watch it, steady. Now hold on, on a bit, hold up a bit. Straight up, that's it, steady, right, hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now then, right, 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 lift, so up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, look out. We've done it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It runs still up there, sir. That's the eight, sir. How are you enjoying your breakfast, Sesswood? This fire coconut is a bit oily, sir. Sides, you always complain, Sesswood. If you smoke salmon and caviar, your grandma would be too fishy. Excuse me, sir, I've got a message from GHQ. They said they can't send him no. As the road still under water fire. How is Belmont, Graham? He's still sleeping, sir. Did he come around again? Yes. You woke up last night. Call me a blooming idiot. Then went back to sleep. Sounds encouraging. Think there's a very, ding, very little damage that has been done, sir. You prove his pulse is still quite normal. And then something if it is. A slight contusion to the upper cranium. A slight confusion to the upper cranium? Graham? I haven't heard one of those wheels fall off. Talk English, Mr. Dunn. Dunn, son of Dunn, 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 Graham. He's got a bump in his head. I think he's swinging the lid, sir. I think he's swinging the lid, sir. Oh, come now, Mr. Sergeant Major. I've got no crack to open his head. I shall I put him on his charge, sir, for wasting the milk? No, no, put him, let him sleep. Excuse me, come and stand up. Uh, Sin, what do you do, what do you do now? You'll want the, the, the coconuts cooked for lunch, so uh, does he have any suggestions? Oh, you the little tip, I would. Never ask a Chinese cook if you've got any suggestions. He let you know. Begging your pardon, sir. We've got some fresh meat. I took him to go and go him. He explained to me he's nothing good, nothing. You're not getting enough cutteries. It seems, it seems, it seems to eat all we are eating, sir. It's a load of carbohydrate and not enough prostrates. I think that what Colonel Graham is gonna say is all very true. You know, sir, the jungle is absolutely teeming with life. It must be something we can eat. Yes, you're right. I remember a couple of weeks ago we come across that old boar, that old boar. But yes, sir, we can't eat him, sir. It's against King's regulations. Do be serious, Sergeant Major. But we know there's a wild boar about, big about. You're a good shot, Ashwood. I do, I'll do, can I do the stalking? What about the Japanese, sir? We're still stalking in the opposite direction. It's all right with me, sir. It's all right, I'll get some rifles. Oh, I hope you come back with something nice, fellas. Just imagine a small verse poker crackling, all brown and sizzling with coconut. Hello, good and glorious, welcome up. But you've got a headache. Now, how are you feeling, Gloria? Hey, Gloria, you should keep the rig on. My name is Belmont. I'm Burgadier, the Royal Artillery. Uh, in future, you address me according to my rank. Sir? Clear? You want to address, sir, according to a rank. Stand up. I said, stand on your feet. As an order, I think she's getting cross. Are you refusing to be in an order? Mm hmm. May I remind you? We're in active service. You're doing, and you're doing, what are you doing? And that's a mutiny. Why don't you go back to bed, Gloria? I'll give you the one last chance. Get on parade. Blood drive me, how dare you fall in without your hats. Get properly dressed, you two smart yourselves up. What? Do you think you're doing? He's getting in potty. He must have been burnt on the head. Oh no, he made him, he made him. Go on, Matos, why have you got a hole in the hat? You, you just put it there. Silence the ranks, Brigadier. Speaking on behalf of the others, if you want to her, if you want to rehearsals, we don't mind a bit. We don't know, we don't know 
What we what upset you, you know? I'll tell you what. Well, I heard a pretty girl in like a not many number in full costume. And he had my Rita Hayworth dress. Yeah. Oh, well, Eva, Eva Williams. Some suits are like you. The roses. Are you like that? Yeah, you can wear your very curly dress. And Peter Cushel. Pew. You look, not, you look no knockout in that. You puffs dressing up those tarts. They'll wear women's clothes again. All right, then. Yeah, you can be Dick Pal. I'm with the keeper. You know. You're a nasty pervert, little pervert. We got a war to fight. You know, just one or two chaps here stopping us getting all the food. And what are you doing about it? Nothing. Because you're a bunch of weak, need, flabby, spineless, puny rats. Well, it's going to stop right here. I'm going to soften you up, nosy boys. Right, running the spot. Begin. Come on, faster, faster. Do it like a man. Do it like, like me. Come on, faster, faster. Come on, bears not stop. You might be pretending. No, he's fainted. He's had a brainstorm. Yes, I suppose he is in a way. I've only got all two sides of character. What do you mean, like Jack and Hyde? Yes. He's a hero and a coward, and that's all. In our, in our case, let's face it, the coward keeps the hero well under control. You mean that ba- a bang on head, throw his head, not doubt the coward? Yes, he's probably only temporary. When he comes around, he may not remember anything about it. Yeah. And what are we going to do? I think it's, it's about lunchtime. That's old. What's old? Shut up, say. He finds out we've sh- been shooting at, at us. We've been, have been locked away in the noony bin. We'll, we'll get him to bed. Let's keep it to ourselves for the time being. See what happens when he wakes up. I'll clean up the sand. Good, that's a good idea. Give me some men, the stone hearted men. You're not hurting your Joe Johnson number this time. Like, oh, are you? No camouflage. What do you got there? Grenades. Mills mark five, uh, four. Short fuse. What the hell do you think you're playing at, bro, my dear? I need your help. What for? To round up the Japs. I could do it on my own, but I need someone to cover my back with you. Are you sniggling? What are you sniggling at? You're feeling right, bro, my dear? I never felt it better in my life. The way I see it is this. A man, you fight, can call them that. They're hungry. They all stand between us and the food of a few miserable Japs. I'll write them out. We got, we got no further problems. Are you coming with me? Aren't you being a bit hasty, boy? No. You're always shooting your mouth off. How you like to crack at the enemy. Well, here's a chance to put your muscle where your mouth is. There, this is a gut chest, Williams. Are you coming? Or do I have to do it alone? You put it, you know, you put it like that? I'm coming. Right. Now fix your face. Right. This is what we're going to do. We'll keep on about a hundred yards, right? Then give me covering fire. I'll charge and blast them to kill. Just because you suddenly turned the off in. You can't, like, do it, do, like they do in the films, you know. They got, you got to use strategy. You can't charge your machine guns, right? The creek round behind you. They all cover me. I strangle them with my bare hands. I said, I couldn't come to grips with them, Bunga dear. You know that them Japanese are trained in Jewish statistics do. You're not going, they're turning yellow, are you? No, no. You know what, Williams? You're a real man. Is that a fact? Yeah. You're a very, very thing in this day and age. Let's see all preparing parkage. How have you done that with a kiss? No, no. Oh, blood. We cut out our wrists. And then we join them together and become blood brothers. I don't think we ought to do that, but you dear. We might become sceptical. Sceptical. Look. Look over there. About a hundred yards away. Come on, let's get them. We mow down. We mow down. We go round for the bushes to load a couple of grenades. In a bob's your uncle. But I, I want to get them. My hand hands. I'll tell you what, Brigadier. I'll throw the grenade. You do what you want to do with that bare, bare hands. Hisses. What are you going to do? One bite from that, and uh, we've had it. There's nothing to worry about. You can't bite you if you grab it just behind the head, right? You have his attention and creep around it and grab it with your bare hands. You're doing a bit, do not with your bare hands. They keep it in its attention and sway with it, with it, with it. Whatever you do, throw it, stop swaying. Who's a pretty boy then? Sergeant, sit, sit, sit. Please sit. Yeah, yo, yeah, don't let it bite, go bite, yeah. I'm just prepared it behind you. Wow, what's the matter? You're fighting? You throw off the grenade and I'll go with my, in with my bare hands. But here, before you go, with your bare hands, wait for the bang. 
right behind you. You dirty swine, we got them all. Wait a minute. They're all dummies. Who fired the mortar? Get down, shooting. You must have circled around them. I'll get them. Well, hang on. We're done with what we don't to do. Do you realize one miserable chap was holding our, our food for a week? We just use one of our mortars. Just keep feet, one chap. Well, we don't want to take too much trouble, much of that. Sergeant Major Williams calling the Royal Artillery Concert Party. Are you seeing me? Are you seeing me? It's Major, Sergeant Major, sir. Give it to me. Where the hell are you being, Sergeant Major? We've been worried sick. I beg to report, sir. Begging you, Beaumont. Myself have singularly double handedly neutralized a Japanese mortar emplacement and accounted for one, two, three, five, six enemy, bringing back their helmets to prove it. I went out. Let me shake you by the hand, Beaumont. I would great to have you on the team, Williams. But you went a bit far saying you killed six chaps. Oh, I didn't say I killed them. I said I counted for them. Now you pick up your helmets and carry the mortar. And when we get back, I'm going to do the talking. Oh, very good of you, Brigadier. You come out and present these decorations to my men. Not at all. I always try to make it, if I can. Chaps like it, you know. You must be very proud of them, Colonel. We were very proud indeed. We were all very proud indeed. Aren't we, Ashford? Oh, yes, sir. I was proud of peacocks. Come on, Brigadier. Foss up your belt, brother. You walked around like a wet weekend. For since I, ever since I woke up this morning, for all peculiar. Last thing I remember, going out to get coconuts. Coconuts. It was a week ago. What have we been doing since then? All it is, they're trying to give you a medal for it. Me a medal? What for? Well, you see, Brigadier, it's like this. I said, well, what's all this, Brigadier? Remains Gloria. For the name the main Sergeant Major. So, right, let's have it. Have you? Know of yourself. Let's have you. Let's have you. Stand still. Attention. Sergeant Major Williams. Bomb me. Bomb me a bomb. Three paces forward. March. Sergeant Major Williams. Bomb me a bomb. You've been recommended. Quite properly recommended. In my view. For the highest award in the British Army. Victoria Cross. Unfortunately. You can't. Don't get it. However. To quote the official citation, a courage above and beyond the call of duty, Sergeant Major Williams and Bogardia Beaumont been mentioned in patches. This is a great honour and signified by perhaps the most British of all elements, the oak leaf class. Commencement, the oak leaves, young London pins. I'm awfully sorry, sir. Oh, come, sorry, ours. Tell you, ours, I'm awfully sorry, sir. Mind you treading well. Isn't it? That's it. No, that's a dead beetle. What are you doing here, Sergeant Major? Shut up. I'm going to... You're giving up. No. You're giving a goal from one piece of japs. Real ones? No. Stop ones. I don't understand. Shut up. Just get them and pin the gong on your chest. It will kiss you us like we do lead in France. Here there you go, sir. Here you sir. I'm always sorry. Thank you, Sergeant Major, Major Williams. Well done, Sergeant Major. I uh, exactly... What would I respect you from you? Thank you, sir. But I'm not very much. But I'm here, you're a good soldier. So he's a major. But I knew this a few days ago. You proved us. You're a man of um, serving resolute and uh, encouraged. Oh, prick me. That hurt. That was blood. I can't bear it. And her cheeks as hurriedly. Can't stand so blood. Applause. Meet the game because the boys are here. Boys to entertain you. Music and laughter and help you in your way. Raising the rafters. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Songs and sketches and jokes are all the new. And us about you feel them. Don't need to feel blue. So meet the game because the boys are here. Boys to entertain you. You're here to make you feel gay. To give us some hot cheer. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Let's go around and put you down. Your gun. With us about there's plenty of fun. So meet the gang, cause the boys are here. A boys to entertain you, but bo- bo- boys, boys to entertain you, land of hope and glory. Rather the free, William, shut up!